refused to come to my wedding because my husband did not make enough money for her. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I think it's time to finally let you talk to your mother face to face and tell her what you're feeling. Dixie, will you come on out? Dixie has been listening backstage. And even though Christine is now 30 something? 30 years old. 30 years old. This is still something that's in her mind. She blames you for the pain that she's been feeling. Do you feel responsible? Not entirely, no. no. Tell us no. about it. Um, I found out she was pregnant, and there were a lot of tears on both sides. And I think she even went and confronted the boy who was the father. I had five minutes to confront him. I called him on the telephone. And I had five minutes, and he said he didn't even know who I was because, and I later found out he said that because he didn't know what to say. He was also, he was one year older than me, and he had no idea what he was going to do. After that one conversation, I never had a chance to call him back and say, yes, I'm definitely pregnant. This is your child. Do you want to keep him? Okay. It's hard for me to remember that far back, but some of the things that Chris said isn't true. Like what? I think she's just confused um, with the facts. Well, go ahead. Um, like I said, there was a lot of contention in the family at the time. And if, if I was responsible for encouraging her to do that, I'm sorry. And I've said that over and over again. I would try to help her find the baby if I could. Anything right. I could she do. She doesn't want to. Well, he's not a baby now. He's 13 uh, He's years 13 old. and a half years. Let me ask a, a question. She was 16. Let's say she had kept the baby. How many other children were at home? I didn't want to have an abortion. Okay, so what I happened? The baby that. was given up for adoption. I gave my baby up for adoption, yes. How, what have these past four years been like for you? I see babies now, and I'm too young to have a baby, but I'd like to have one. I see babies, and I want to hold them. At work, I'd like to hold them. I, my brother, you're still my only niece, 17, right? Yes, this was I'm 13 17. When it happened, right? 17 now. Okay, what angers you the most about what your mother did? I didn't get a choice. She says I got a choice, but I didn't get a choice. Okay. I never got the choice. I, it was abortion or adoption, and I chose a better one for me. I didn't get the choice that I was supposed to, and I didn't get the support that my brother got when he had his baby. I didn't get Tell any of that. Tell me about your brother. I don't know what you're talking about. My brother has, his, they had, him and his girlfriend just had their baby, December 11th. They're not married? No. How old is your brother? 16, just turned 16, October 1st. How old is his girlfriend? 16. What and they did have, your mother do for, the cho for them? She helped them get an apartment. She, she, they lived. Renee lived with my mother the whole time when she got pregnant. And that was one of the rules, was not to get pregnant. And she got pregnant. And um, she stayed living at my mother's house with my brother when she could have gone and lived with, my, with her dad. And she didn't do that. She stayed at my mom's house. I, I was still living with my mother then. And uh, she helped him get an apartment um, and a phone and... So different things like that, you know. Do helped. I understand that the anger is how you were treated as opposed to how your brother's treated? Yes. As well as giving up the baby? Yes. Okay. Let's, uh, if we can, ask Mother about that. You are very upset, right? Yes, Let's... now I am. I, when I was 14, I didn't grasp, didn't grasp giving it. my baby up, but, yes, but now really... I do. Let's see if uh, we can get some answers from her. Come on out, Kathy. Kathy, you've been listening backstage, and you hear that Nicole is very upset, A, about giving up the child. When she first told you, I, I always have to put myself in the mother's point of view, when she told you she was pregnant, girlfriend Renee, uh, three short weeks ago, they had a baby, so I guess the first thing is congratulations. Uh, Robert, what was your mother's advice uh, when you told her Renee was pregnant? What did she say to you? Did she, she claimed she said give it up for adoption. What did she say? She was just mad at the moment. She was just angry. Hmm. Now, as I understand it, keeping the baby was Renee's idea? Yes, it was. What do you feel about your brother I now? feel that, for one, 
I am glad that I gave my baby up. I don't want to be on welfare. I don't want to be on food stamps. And I don't want to get stuck in the system. For what? When you get stuck, you won't get out. A lot of people stay in there and take it the easy way. I want my child to have a, I, for one, I love my mom. She did a good job. But I want my kid to have a, ba a, a father. I want a playground in the backyard. I want a horse. I want a big house. And I want, you know, I want everything. I don't want a run room apartment, welfare, and WIC coming in, and Social Security. I don't want none of that, Robert. And that's why I gave my baby up. And that's why Mom thought it was the best thing for me then. But you, you keep your baby, and you think you're so high and mighty up on top, but you're not. You're not on top, Robert. Was it my choice to go on WIC? Well, well, Robert, what else are you going to do? <laughs> with slightly wet eyes is Barbara. Barbara's parents made her give up her son when she got pregnant as a teen. How old were you? I was 17. Okay. After years of searching for your son, Justin, you weren't prepared for what you would find. What happened and how do you feel and what do you think is going Dear on God. here? Tell me. Oh, I found my son. I paid someone to find my son 10 years ago. He was seven years old. I didn't understand that it was illegal, but I had to know my heart that he was all right. Now, you're saying that because she no. wants her mother to find out if it was a legal adoption exactly. or exactly. not. Exactly, exactly, because okay. oh, I knew, found out that he was all right from what I was told. Okay, I found out three months ago that Justin had shot himself oh two weeks after his 17th birthday this year. Oh God, he felt abandoned at birth. And they told me, his birth parents told me from the self-hatred he had from being abandoned. And all I ever, I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to do the right thing. It was the only thing I could do. At the time. She did what? I didn't do an adoption so agency afraid. like she did or I'm whatever. So... Something like she did. Okay, let me be great. I want you all to understand. I, I want you to understand, know. Sally. I, I am not against... <laughs> Adoption, it's, it's the secrets, it's the lies, it's the pain. My, it is the pain, it's the pain. My mother, my mother just turned to me and said to me, this, you know yours is all right. No, I she, don't know, I does. don't know, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know anything, and it just is a pain. Dr. Judith Koriansky. Dr. Judy, let's start with uh, Christine and Dixie. 13 years is a very long time. What happened between them? Well, this is a very powerful show, isn't it? I mean, just hearing these stories, uh, my heart is breaking, and watching their hearts break. And there's nothing stronger than the bond between a mother and a child. Well, which and is why more. anything we can do to put them, she needs her mother, whether she's talked well, to her three years or not. Exactly. But the anger is so... It's almost impossible. It's almost Why impossible. Why is it impossible? So much time. She put so much pain into my life mm -hmm. that I'm afraid to but even trust her. For you. Her yes, back yes. She, and then I, I'm, I'm a little... For what? To get hurt hey. again? To I'm get a, hurt again. I'm a little distressed about how all of you have ganged up, in a sense, against Dixie. I mean, think about, really, what's going on here. We can all have sympathy for Christine being separated from her baby, but she was a child at that time who was not ready to make a decision about having sex, much less what was going to happen to the two afterwards. Her mother, she may decide she did the wrong thing or the right thing. She tried to do, I think she's a good person, she tried to do what was best, even if it may not have been what her daughter wants now, later. So have a little sympathy for her. What do you think? When did you get and and, I, and I think that it's important at a certain point you have two children now and I think being a mom reminds you more of the pain of the other child that you had and don't have now isn't it time for you to forgive your mom as she has apologized no, I so will, much I will forgive my mother when the answers are given to me with what has happened I didn't have a choice what happened um, I was 14 and I went to the doctor and before we knew it, I was eight months pregnant, my, nobody knew. And the day the doctor told me, told my mom I was pregnant, she made arrangements and shipped me off to maternity home the next day. So I spent the next month in maternity homes. And now, he was adopted, mm -hmm. a happy adoption. Mm -hmm. And you were able to find out where he was. Mm -hmm. And you were living blocks away. Mm -hmm. Amazing story. 
Uh, you made contact with him on the phone when? Uh, October. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was going to join us on the phone today, right? I understand that. Yeah, we had some problems with the uh, telephone line, so we're going to try and fix them. What would you have said to him? Today? Yeah. I love him. Really relating to what Christine and Nicole and Sheila have been through, uh, because this happened to you the same as it happened to this nice lady yes. 28 years ago, was it? Yeah. 30 years ago for her and 28, 28 years, years ago. for you. And uh, in all that time, you've been searching for, uh, you know, trying to find. Yeah, it's, it's a hole that never goes away. You never mm -hmm. wonder, listening to her Is, say. And she's saying it's a hole, too, and you're yeah. saying it's you, a hole. You, you don't <laughs> know if she's happy, if she's not happy, if she's a good student, a bad student. You don't know. You anything. don't know. You don't know anything. And you just that whole that need to know is always there. I wonder. Y yes. Um, I'd like to have a question for a lady on the end. I'd like to say, hi, I'm your daughter. Karen.